Hey, thanks for stopping by. This is Tom Stiles, and this is Tom's Radio Room Show. And this is part two of a series on this MFJ model, MFJ-904H. Deluxe Travel Tuner is what it's called, with SWR and a power meter plus a bomb built in for using long wire antennas or other types of antennas and I'm just going to show you a little more detail you know I'm in my office now so I got a better camera and just show you a little more detail of this tuner before we actually put it in service or in the test lab the test lab I don't have a test lab who am I kidding myself okay so here it is this is um, this is the three dials for tuning your antenna to get the best impedance match, impedance match between your transmitter and your antenna. Does it make your antenna even uh, any better than it was without this? But it makes the match better, therefore you're getting, theoretically, maximum transfer, transfer of power from your transceiver to your antenna. Uh, this is the button for selecting which range you're using, either 30 watts or 300 watts. Now, the manual tells me that you can only put 150 watts into this tuner, otherwise you might damage it. So, this is just indicating the scale. Maybe a little confusing. On the back, as I showed you before, are the connections. This is a ground lug. These are the terminals for um, wire antennas or balance line, depending on what you want to choose. And then here's the standard 50 ohm terminals for your transmitter and your antenna. And here is a jack for putting in power. And it appears that the power is only used for lighting this display. I think that's all the power is used for. Because if we if we look at the schematic that comes with the manual, it only shows a connection to that lamp. Now we can look down inside. I've taken the opportunity to open it up and hope Richard, who supplied this to me for review, doesn't get too excited because I opened it. So here's what you see down here. This is an inductor with various taps to use that inductor to tune your antenna to your radio. Here's two tuning capacitors. There you go. Very big, nice tuning capacitors. And then there's other components. There's a switch on the back for either bypassing this tuner or using the tuner. So if you want to check your radio without the tuner, you can flip that switch and now you're directly correctly connected to your uh, meter. And there is, now I take that back, there is a lot of components here on this little circuit board. So I guess you do have supply of power. I'm trying to see where no because if I that's why I opened this thing up because if I look down in here let me get something besides my finger here's a plastic pin if I look down in here and I'll zoom in again try to hopefully I maintain focus this is the power this is the power connection right here which only goes to this little terminal board here which is the lamp for this meter so that means and this is what I was digging for that means if I'm out in the field and I don't have power even even battery power I don't have to I don't have to have power the rest of this will work the power meter will work SWMR meter will work so that's what I was looking for and if I look, 
this is out of the way. If I look at the manual, they supply the schematic. Ta-da, the schematic. And sure enough, and you probably can't see this very well, sure enough, here is a power connector, and the only place it shows that it goes to is the lamp. So that's good news that you don't have to supply any power uh, to this device uh, to run the meter itself in some you know measuring thing. So that's good. I can see as you can see this is pretty straightforward. Here's the capacitors and inductors on the input. I mean excuse me on the output side. So it's coming in through here and uh, picking off the power from the transmitter and going to these various components and down to the meter to measure SWR and or power and um, then the line continues on it goes through this bypass switch which either hooks in the tuner part of this before it goes to your antenna or goes strictly to your antenna Pretty straightforward. So it's going to be interesting to check this out. I'm sure a lot of you amateur radio operators have something like this or maybe the larger one for using in your shack. So that's the show for today. Um, it may not be the very next show or shows, but I will be hooking this up to uh, my transmitter, transceiver, and my wire, random wire antenna, and doing some testing and see how it helps match the output of the transceiver to that antenna. So that's the show for today. If you enjoyed the show, please give me a thumbs up. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.